Hello, I'm Lucy. I'm a fine art beader and I paint with beads. But today I'm going to do something slightly different because I've just purchased a new computerised sewing machine. And I have been told that computerised sewing machines are much more precise and controllable than mechanical machines. So I just wanted to put that to the test and share it with you. So this is my old mechanical machine. It's a Janone New Home My Style 21. Um, and I've quite simply worn it out over more than seven years. Um, so bits are almost falling off, but it is a mechanical, uh, electrically driven machine. And a mechanical machine means that you're going to be using knobs to change uh, stitches, widths and lengths, and press buttons and pull levers to do anything else on the machine. Uh, it is a limited range of stitches, but it was a good range at the time, all those years ago. But I've simply worn it out. So this is my new Janone machine. I'll just turn it on for you. It is a 5270 QDC, and at the time of recording, was the latest model by Janone in computerized machines. Now, it's quite a jump from a mechanical to a computerized machine, and there's a lot to get your head around. And computerized means that there are preloaded stitches, and lots of patterns that are controlled by the press of these buttons. You can program buttons that are already on the machine, but there is no USB connection. You can't create a pattern and then download it onto this machine. For that, you'd need a more bespoke and very much more expensive embroidery machine. Uh, so you're talking about big money for, for embroidery machines. There are several reasons why I chose this particular model. Um, I wanted a computerised machine in the first place so I could play around a little bit with embroidery and stitches and patterns, that sort of thing, a little bit, um, without spending lots of money. Um, but a key point about this particular model, it's the first one of the Genome ones, I believe, that has um, fonts, letters, numbers and symbols programmed in. So you can, you can write um, phrases um, up to 50 characters in length. So that, that was a real plus point for me. Um, and there's a whole range of pre-programmed stitches and patterns that you can use, which is really good. The, the throat, the distance between the needle and the, the back end is 17 centimeters. And that's no different to my old machine. So I was quite used to that. Um, and you, if you want to get a wider throat on some of these machines, of course, the wider it is, the more expensive it is, and you can pay an awful lot of money, but I was happy with the 17 centimetres. I'm familiar with Genome. Um, it's a bit like changing a car. Um, all, all the things are in the same place and it all works in the same way. So converting from an old machine to a new machine um, is it, very, very straightforward. It also has sat within my... Um, old horn piece of furniture and the plate to extend it also fits so that's really really helpful and handy so that's quite important and it does come with its own extension table um, and that's really really handy to have if you don't have a piece of uh, bespoke furniture to sit it in and you need some extra space to work on and I've pimped the machine already and I've added a right angle cable so it can fit inside the furniture and it also comes with a whole heap of accessories, uh, which are really, really useful. And there's lots and lots of optional extras as well. The support is excellent. And within a few days of purchasing um, the machine and purchasing the extended warranty, I, I've got my certificate through the post. So even a service record. So I have been amazed at how easy it has been to convert to this new model um, and start using it. And I've been um, really pleased with the variety of new innovations that I didn't have on my old machine. So let's get right in there. To thread the bobbin, the spool sits in a holder on the top of the machine and you can add an extra holder on the top. 
a little tip is that when you plan to pick up the machine by its handle, take care not to catch the spool holder instead of the handle. Threading the machine is really, really easy and there's even an automatic threading system and it's just amazing. With my old machine I would do all this by hand and almost I could do it with my eyes closed. And this takes all of the effort away, it's amazing. The bobbin you do in the normal fashion and this little system cuts off the thread. Now you can either draw up the thread as usual or what you find is that when you start sewing along and you complete your line of stitches there is no tail on the underside, there's no thread. Not only that, I can press a thread cutting button and um, there's simply no thread to cut at the end. There is an up and down needle button to raise and lower the needle. You can set the stop position of the needle to up or down. I have the stop position as down. So that combined with your cutting button takes care of almost everything. Now finishing the threads, you can either press the reverse button. The other option is to press the locking button and this does four locking stitches and then if you press cut you get an invisible finish and no threads to cut. And when you're sewing along, you can control the speed by a slider. I can program in words and phrases, and if I use the start-stop button, look, no hands. And then cut. Buttonholes, just the same. There are 12 different types. You stick the actual button in the holder and press start. Well, you get a handy little DVD that gives you the basics and an instruction book. Um, and it's really changed my way of working on the, on the sewing machine. So I really love it. And I am planning to do some artwork on it and I will show you that in a, uh, a future video. So um, keep watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Um, I'm Lucy Hughes. I'm a fine art beader and I paint with beads.